Okay, so the ceiling's done. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. Hit the hole. This goes. Okay, so when you're installing a ceiling in a shower, a lot of people are afraid that the tile is going to fall when you, you know, when you're setting it up. That's actually not true. Pretty much any thin set will hold if it's mixed properly. If it's mixed properly, will hold the tile up to the ceiling without a problem. The other important thing is to make sure you get proper coverage and that you could get good transfer. So. If you, I got the ceiling that I got to do here. Yeah, you know, and it's this marble tile, the same marble tile as the wall, and I got to put it on a diagonal. So I got some. I'm gonna start with the the full piece over here, and then just cut all the way around. So when you're trying to apply thin set to the ceiling, <laughs> it's gonna really. going to really test you well, because you know you're, you're traveling upside down a lot of times that thin set will fall on your face or on, on you so the way I do it is I will just skim coat the ceiling and then I'll apply I'll notch the back of the tile with the thin set to get so that I avoid working overhead with thin set as much as possible so um, this is just a regular thin set nothing special and I'm gonna install the tile on the ceiling Okay, so first thing I do is skim coat the area. So you want to make the thin set really good so it sticks to your trowel. So you might say, why bother skim coating the ceiling with the thin set? before notching the back of the tile with the thin set and sticking it to the ceiling. So I'll link the video in the cards. Watch that video and you'll see what the difference is when you uh, skim coat before you apply a thin set. And if you don't, it's, it's amazing the difference that it makes. So it's very important that you understand that you have to skim coat prime with thin set the surface before you just stick your tile to it. Put this one up. So you got it. There you go. What's up? So it seems that there are a lot of people that are afraid to tile a ceiling because. They think the tile is going to fall off as they're installing it. Now, th these are 12 by 12 marble tiles. They're actually pretty heavy tiles. And here I'm just using just a regular thin set uh, to install the tile to the ceiling. If you, as I said earlier, if you mix your thin set properly to the proper consistency and you get good coverage and transfer when you set your, your tile to the ceiling it'll stay up so if you're still nervous about installing tile to the ceiling especially if it's a larger tile then what you can do is get a very good no sag thin set uh, usually the lightweight lightweight thin sets uh, are the best so when I say lightweight I mean like uh, an Art XX77 or a custom Pro Light or um, uh, 
Laticrete has has some really good insects as well, and so does uh, Mape. So if you're really nervous about installing tile on a ceiling, go get a um, high performance, lightweight, no sag, then and you're gonna and you're gonna see that the tile just stays up, no issue at all. But then again, I'm just, you know, just regular thin set will do the trick also. Okay, so I know that that wall is straight and it's square with this. So as long as I keep the same gap over here and the same gap over here, it's gonna be good. I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to cut this circle here, and then I've got two lights. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to take that one off. I'm gonna cut this hole for here, and then I got two four-inch lights, LED lights. I gotta cut two holes over here. So let me do this. Okay, so I cut the hole. Let's see if it fits. It's good. Okay, so these are the lights that go on the ceiling, the very narrow profile, the LEDs, and they give you a template for the hole. So I'm going to mark it and then cut it. Okay, so I got the two, the hole cut in those two tiles, and now I'm going to take this one down and put it over here if it fits. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, it'll fit. Because, you know, that's all messed up, so I didn't want to, you know, clean it off. So I'm just going to put it over here.
actually can't put it over here because this is where my other one goes. So I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so we'll mark this one, cut this hole, and then we'll do the rest of the ceiling. Okay. So, cut the hole. This goes like this. Oh, let's put this one up. Okay, let's go push this. Maybe one more tile I can put up here. Okay, let's keep going.
Okay, so the ceiling's done. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. And then in a little bit I'm gonna remove all these all these uh, horseshoe wedges and then wash it down so that it's all ready to go for, for grout and I don't have to mess around with it. Okay, so that's it. The ceiling is all done. Next I'll put up the top row. And the reason you do that is because you know it's easier to cut a straight cut than trying to cut the diagonal and make it fit nice. This way you just cover all those those edges on the top there and on the ceiling and you just gotta cut a square cut and it's much easier. So if this is so this is your first time seeing my videos. My name is Salva Blasi, tile contractor in the Boston area. Been installing tile for over 35 years. My channel has over 780 videos, pretty much all to do with tile. So uh, check that out. And also leave your comments in the comment section below. Check me out on Patreon. I'll leave a bunch of links in the description. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.